In July of 2018, a garage birthed a collective of artists. After a lot of drunk nights and a lot of ciphers, we decided to call this group New Wave Infinity. We came together to make music, films, and everything else in between. But looking back at it now, we got so much more than we bargained for. We got a family. So along the way, we've been able to see the passion and love that artists in Melbourne bring to their craft firsthand. So All Corners is a project about bringing our community together and shining a light on the people that have made our time in the scene worthwhile. Through the first week of January of 2020, in one small house, we invited artists from all corners of our city to work on an album. I loved it. I loved every single second of it. Everyone was just happy to be there. They were some of the most beautiful and amazing people ever. Day one and day two, there was points with like 20 people in one room. It's for everybody. It's by everybody. The following footage is the journey of that week. Should I just keep going? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not actually sure if calling this a project is doing what this is justice, in my opinion. Anyhow, like I think that it's bigger than that. And I think this will sort of be the first moment um, when we look back and like, well, how did Melbourne come together for their next period? Um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, this is way bigger than an album. Like the album sort of just like the bonus. Like I think that this is sort of just a cultural shift. This is a disruption. This is um, a new birth, I reckon. I can't even describe it. It's literally, you gotta run from room to room to room, like poke your head in. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's tight as fuck. I wanna be on this, I wanna be on this, I wanna be on this. But it's so good, like walking around the house because there's three studios and just seeing in each studio some crazy different beat to the other studios and it's just the ability to hop on whatever you want. It's just such a positive vibe and there's always something to do. Literally, track after track, verse after verse. You walk in that room, bro, you've got a new song. You walk in that room, you got a new song. Since come to the spot, you don't even know how to let me feel this. Come show me feel your vibe, it's more than enough. Give me heavy like the way. The contrast of the artists that are here and the shit that is being made. It's new, it's weird, it's different. I can't even name it, I can't give it a name yet. It's just new. Dear homies, I'm not chaining you, better step back. I'm about to lay your flat on your back. Pull up with sticks, no, I ain't about that. Pull up with blades, and I'm about to attack. Yo, yo, yo. How many, how many bars is that? I don't even know, bro. Hence why this whole uh, thing is happening is so we can actually start thinking a bit more in sync and therefore start creating based off each other's thoughts and not what we see on social media which is heavily dominated by America. I've like, I'm running out of pages in this book to write shit. Like there's, there's been that much going on. Um, but I gotta say, it's the most fun I've ever had making music easily. Like what a way to start 2020. It's been, it's been unreal. Like that, you know? And then you can lay it all down and it'll just sound like angelic. Yeah. So like to bring, cause like it goes from this and then it goes to like all these harmonies that people yeah, you know what I mean? So like, I was expecting it to be just some like, sit in a room with a couple of people, record some tracks and like, fuck it, like make an album, yeah? But it's so much more than that, it's like 10 times, 20 times more than that. Like I can't explain how much more it is. After like, going to work and then coming back here, I was so dead, but then I came back here and it was like, yeah, this is something special and this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. Handship. My experience coming in, I came in on day five, so essentially the middle of the project, and everything had kind of gained momentum. And coming straight in, it was obviously you see your homies, you feel that love, but to also come in in an environment that's high, high creativeness, where you not only have producers and artists, but you also have filmmakers, you also have people that are just consumers and love, have love for the scene, to also get a sense of people from different areas, the west, the north, the southeast. It's a really, really fun vibe and super energetic and uplifting. Down. 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 I've been puffing on the honor just to 
Yeah, I feel like there is something promising here in Melbourne, especially because we are so multicultural and kind of comes in rings of immigration. You know, we all kind of sit in these sort of uh, neighborhoods. Uh, in these rooms and we're all kind of like related in a way and so I think yeah the whole purpose of that is we need to all band together and then we get that unique Melbourne sound. Fucking day six bro. Day six come. I'm fucking so tired. In a really good way though. In a really good way. Fucking, I don't even know how many songs I've been on, how many songs we've made, how many fucking people I've met, like, fucking insane. <laughs> Always shit going on. When everything burning the love, green to the red, cause everything hot! It's just so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I honestly don't know what that, uh, what was the question again? So, Mental, mental, mental. Oh, this shit be mental. Mental. Okay. And I'm seeing people who I thought would never get on hooks get on hooks. People lay verses that aren't even considered like a musician, like some of the people who interview and stuff. Like, it's really nice just to see everyone get along. But that was my first time rapping in a studio. Um, setting and actually recording. Like that's that was kind of one of my goals for the year to like, if at all, get on a track. And it's only the fifth day of January, and that's already happened. It's fucked. Like literally, the process is just it's inspirational. It's it's expanding my horizon on just like life. Literally, it's fucking insane. Yeah. You can see all the different styles of like genres and takes on artistry of like everyone that fucking walks through this door and not one single person has like come into a room and been like, nah, that ain't my shit. Like every single person has looked at something and looked at the way that they present themselves and create music in a completely different way in order to get on a song. Yeah, we're just we're yeah, putting Nick. Time Nick, get in here. I'm filming, uh, I'm filming. Nick. 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 Nick! Feeling like we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. Um, and feeling like we've actually made a difference in the community. I think it's just so easy to tell that like, what's going on in Melbourne is really special and what's going on in Australia is really special. Like there's not a single person on the project that I, I don't like love um, and want to make music with again. I just hope that it encourages other people. Women, women in general, women as artists need to support one another. People have things to say and they just, they're, they're after a platform to be able to say them. I think it's all worth it when you think about the week and you think about how people were seemingly really enjoying themselves and you saw artists actually find themselves a little bit more. I would just want to say thank you to everybody that listens to this shit because it's, you know, and watches the documentary because it's, it's such a labor of love. Like it's not, this shit was not easy to make or organize or mix or master or edit together. But we hope that there's some people out there that enjoys it because at, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Maybe I don't even know where to start. You took a bow to my heart. You ran away so far and I'm falling apart. That was there from the start. I can't even compare all these dudes in your ear, but I'm just standing right here. Just another Sunday morning. My call in my life is important. And you're important